Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, today is Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. It's 8th of January. I know it's been a long time since the last video. There's definitely been more than a week. But sometimes you have those days and it's been gray weather and people even ask me like can't you not sometimes be more real and talk about like your feelings and how you're experiencing things instead of just like giving a actual update of what's going on in your life well <laughs> today is one of those typical days that i stood under the shower for probably like 30 minutes while i was done in like five because i didn't feel like starting this day off at all um i think it has I mean, it definitely has to do still with some of like the hormones that are not fully balanced yet after pregnancy. Uh, it has to do with the gray ass weather here in the Netherlands that you're like, you just get depressed when you wake up and it still feels like five o'clock in the morning, even though it's like nine. Uh, the broken nights probably don't help. But as well as like the progress that you're not really making, even though I'm hitting the gym, I'm definitely not hitting the gym as I should. Like I'm not hitting the gym five times a week no for sure not like two or three times max but it's just so difficult it's like you're balancing like keeping your sanity because your your life now all of a sudden revolves around you know a kid that you're responsible for and i love every second with him but it is freaking tough you know some days like so three or four days ago he had his vaccination and he had fever for two days and that meant that the only way he would stop crying is on my tit. Literally, he needed to be on my tit the entire day. So I had two days, including the nights, that he would just not sleep. He would wake up crying like there was no warning. Like, eh, 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 eh. no, it was just waking up screaming. And then I had to lay him, you know, on my, on my breast to calm him down and that was two days two nights it was intense because I was like literally the only one that could comfort him and aside from that then now he's feeling better luckily like it took two days but now he's completely back to normal but it's still broken night you know it's still waking up three times a night minimal and he wakes up at I think five or six in the morning and then he's bright awake so it's just it's so intense and if you're physically feeling okay and if you're feeling like really good in your body that probably helps but that's also not the case right now because deep down you know how it goes like for everybody of course it's different but for me it's like oh my god so many girlfriends of mine were pregnant delivered the baby already and none of them have these stretch marks like all of them, especially all the fitness models, they either snap back or they they might have gained like a lot of extra weight. But that's even more insane to me. Like I kept on weight, like I reached the minimal that you're supposed to gain when you're pregnant. And still my stomach is filled with stretch marks. I'm like, I did everything that I could, you know, like I fucking put the oil on there twice, sometimes three times a day when it's when it was itchy, I would put it five times a day. And I would just like massage it in and rub it in. And I didn't gain any extra weight. Uh, I kept really active until the end. Like only two weeks before I delivered the baby. I And I was 41 weeks pregnant. So only two weeks. So at 39 or 40 weeks somewhere there. I stopped like really walking tons and stuff. Because I couldn't even walk up the stairs. But... Up until then, I, be, I I just stayed active in everything. I ate right. And still, my stomach is filled with stretch mark. And then on top of that, like the loose skin, it's just... Oh, I feel so terrible. Sometimes I have these days that I'm just like, fuck my life. Like, I'm a fitness model. How am I going to do this? It's like so difficult i look in the mirror and i'm like okay so my body like equals my work and right now i'm like how the hell am i gonna do this i don't even feel like attractive anymore like i have a boyfriend and and he tells me i'm beautiful every single day so i am literally the luckiest person on earth to have him because if that if it wasn't for him i would have pretty much been depressed i think because it was really hard to 
even the couple of weeks like right after the birth it was really due to him that I could stay strong and not feel super depressed about my body but right now it's like he's three months old so I'm three months postpartum and my body's just not snapping back how it should and of course like my belly will just never look the same like the loose skin might tighten up a little bit but the stretch marks won't go away and people are offering solutions and they're like you want to try this or you want to try this method and I'm like okay but I want to have another kid so how am I going to do that like I can't I can't adjust the problem right now and get pregnant in another year or whatsoever if I get lucky and then do it all over again so I'm like in between all these things and I'm like how am I gonna go this summer in bikini and you know how will people respond if they actually see me in real life because that's the one thing I always felt really comfortable about you know like my body was always pretty much the same I, di I didn't really fluctuate it was always very like I kept my diet always pretty okay and right now it's just damn it's just so difficult to accept it like as much as i preach it it is really really hard to actually accept it and feel attractive again like even though my boyfriend tells me like i still found you find you attractive i'm not like here i go naked in front of you look at me you know like <laughs> i'm not like the the person i was before pregnancy and i really hope it will come back to me but right now it's definitely not the case and you know, people also ask me, uh, should I wait with like a boob job? That I had one of those questions and I'm like, yes, because a lot of people say your tits will stay exactly the same. Hey, I congratulations if that happened to you. Like freaking congrats that your boobs are still exactly the same. Mine are definitely not. Like they're definitely not. I have stretch marks around my nipples and uh i mean due to like filling up with milk and emptying again they became a little bit more like i wouldn't say saggy but less firm like they are definitely not as firm as they were and including those stretch marks and all those veins going on because i'm still breastfeeding i'm like Ugh, god damn it like when is this but the thing is i want to keep breastfeeding him because i'm lucky enough that i'm able to and like I know it is the healthiest thing for him because if it boosts his immune system when I'm a, when I get sick he won't get sick or you know at least he will recover quicker because I'm still breastfeeding it's like it is so difficult to just weigh in between like what is the most important thing and that is his health but me feeling pretty much disgusting in the meantime that sucks so I'm gonna give you guys another body update but I wanted to put this in there like I'm sorry if I offended anybody I don't think so because I'm just literally talking about myself and how I feel and this comes in all forms shapes and sizes you know this is like if you think like oh shut up you look good I understand I really understand that you feel that way maybe but just look at it from my perspective I'm a fitness model that was my body you know before and it was all about the abs and the lean and whatever and this is my body now that i will have to accept like as hard as i train i was always used that i could manipulate my body you know like i could if i train harder i look better right now i can train as hard as i can but the stretch marks won't disappear and the loose skin will never fully disappear you know so it's just something i really have to accept and it's gonna take some time so <laughs> Please don't be offended or anything about this. Like I I really applaud every woman that has ever been pregnant and I can't imagine having twins and then, you know, coming back from that. It is just so hard on your body. But I will get there. I will accept it. And let's start this video off. I'm going to show you my body update right now. And then when you hit the gym, we're going to do glutes. But I want to give as many... Uh, option as, as possible to train your glutes so you won't have to do every single same exercise every week so for me it's really important to really fluctuate and do different things and use machines a different way or maybe do it with one leg at a time so you isolate the muscle more so that is next that we're gonna go hit the gym and I'll show you a whole different glute day than you're used but let's do the body update so this is my body right now so body fat wise 
like there's really not that much fat left as you can see like but even this what is sticking out i feel like is more skin than anything like it's really not that much fat it's just a lot of loose skin that doesn't know where it should go <laughs> and then that's the booty right now and here you can see all the veins and a little bit even the stretch marks they come to here till right on the edge as you can see so yeah I'm regaining a little bit of muscle mass I really noticed that my abs are like really in the right spot again so I can train them now I train them twice a week I think I'm gaining a little bit of mass back on my legs but it's going so slow just due to not being able to lift the weight that I'm used to so I'm still lifting only 10 uh, kgs on each side so it's just not a lot and I still have the back but that's just that's always been with me like the last thing that will go and i don't want to starve myself i'm not dieting too hard because i still want to produce enough milk uh to be able to just by almost solely breast breastfeeding uh, jack so guys so this is it this is the body update uh again uh, this is a pretty vulnerable uh, moment so please be kind in the comments and now let's hit the gym Okay, so next up is the side lunge. Uh, I haven't done this in a very long time. And normally I would just do it with a bar or like a 20 kilo bar where the weight's already on or something. So I'm just gonna start without weight and see how it goes. Because of course you're like really stretching those inner thigh muscles. And those are the muscles that give me the most problems after my pregnancy. So I'm really curious how this goes. Let's see. So let's try with the bar. Let's uh, do a couple more without the bar. <laughs> Okay, so next up is a lunch, but this is a whole different one. This is first of all on the Smith machine and second of all with a bench. So what we can do is when we stand on the bench, we can make it extra, extra. <laughs> we can make it extra deep so the lunge will become very deep and at the end I will come all the way up and I will again keep my knee bent and flex my butt so it's gonna let's be go. a very deep lunge a deep lunge
so first off you can see I'm weak as fuck <laughs> but second off as you can see you want to try to not create momentum at the bottom because what you can do of course is the leg that touches the floor you can give yourself a push and you're gonna have to try to not do it if you're starting off it's okay if you do it a little just make sure you don't put any weights on it so whenever you feel that you don't have to push anymore to go up then you can start to add a little bit of weight but this is heavy it might not be the best one to start off again after pregnancy <laughs> and cable pull through okay so next up is the cable pull through i have no clue what this one is called i've done it for so long already and it really it really lets you focus on your glutes so and a little bit of your hamstring so let's go That one feels so good. So again, make sure when you come up, you don't lock your knees, you keep them bent and you really squeeze and keep it like squeeze for a couple of seconds and then you go down again. And then whenever you go down, if you really feel your hamstrings are on full stretch, that's when you come up again and keep squeezing those glutes. Okay, so next up is the abductor, uh, but normally you probably have a machine in your gym. This one doesn't have it. And this one in particular is very important for me because I really noticed that that is where my weakness lays within my legs right now. So what I want to do is train that as much as possible, of course, with lightweight to just get to build that strength up again. So I'm just doing it with a cable machine. The thing that you normally put around your ankle right now, put it right below your knee. I feel like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> you look like one. <laughs> Cute dog all, though. It's, it's all good though. <laughs> Okay, so next up is a single leg uh, hip thrust. Uh, I'm gonna start doing it without weight again because I haven't done this for so long. And uh, it's more about st uh, st stability. stability. Yeah. <laughs> so it's more about stability uh, over that you push a lot of weight here. So let's just try it without weight. If you feel that it's easy, go ahead and add some weight. <laughs> So if you would like to add some weight, uh, I would always uh, recommend you do a bar. But you can also do dumbbells, but then you have to just grab the two sides of the dumbbells and place them on your hip bones. Uh, but then again, you're really busy with your hands as well to keep it balanced. And if you just have add a bar, even just a bar is 20 kilos. So just add it, you can lightly, you can just slightly like balance it with your hands, but you don't really have to, you know, be afraid that it falls off. So that is it. I'm gonna keep doing this exercise for another three sets. Um, maybe if I feel like I can add some weight, I will. 
but uh, that's it for today's training I really hope that this helps you guys because I'm, fi I'm filming all my trainings and I already have three leg slash booty days uh, but that's because I really like to change things up because you really feel that if you're always doing the same leg exercises or glute exercises first of all it gets boring second of all um, you're not really challenging yourself and you you will notice if you add some new exercises here and there even if you don't add a lot of weight it will just hit a little bit a different part or it will it's more an isolated glute exercise than you're normally used to and you'll have um, a little bit of muscle pain so I like that so yeah I hope this helps guys and uh, if you have any questions about the exercises you can leave them below of course and uh, yeah we'll finish this and then we go get some lunch babe Merry Christmas <laughs> Beautiful flower. Is that for me? Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, so that's what you get when you put vegetables in a drawer where you normally never put them. Or when you have a Jewish husband. Yeah. Huh? That's what you get when you have a Jewish husband. <laughs> Great. Okay, so it's dinner time and I wanted to share my vegan uh, Thai curry recipe with you guys. It's actually a green curry. Um, don't mind the little one because he's trying to fall asleep, but he does that with a lot of processing. So <laughs> you'll hear that in the background. Uh, so first of all, what I do is I um, cook the vegetables for like five minutes, all the vegetables that need cooking. The rest you can just stir fry, that's fine. Uh, so I just did that for five minutes. Uh, this is uh, cauliflower and green, green. beans. Thirsty <laughs> <laughs> <It's thirsty> beans. <laughs> beans. <laughs> and then I have um, about like five centimeter, I think, of uh, fresh ginger, four really big garlic cloves, and then um, the carrot, carrots. <laughs> a big Dutch carrot, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, two red onions. That so I'm going to now fry. I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna do it on low fire so it you really keep the flavor. If you don't and you burn garlic, the flavor just literally disappears and it becomes bitter. So try to not burn it. You can literally throw it in oil that's not even hot yet because you're just gonna put it on low fire anyways. Um, after this, I'm gonna add the onion, then the potato of the the carrot, Jesus <laughs> Christ, it's going well. Then these vegetables. And then I'm going to, this is a quick fix. Oh, that's great. It is the 2nd of January right now. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. It, it, looks, it, looks, it looks good though. So that's good fine. For the exactly. And then uh, we're just going to put everything in a pot here and it's just going to simmer. So. We cook in pots nowadays. We'll show you. What? That's what it's called. Crock pot. Pan. In the pan. That sounds weird. Pan. Doesn't it? Yeah. Very weird. <laughs> so I'll show you in a highlight clip, guys. use a green uh, curry paste you can of course go for red curry or whatever but we prefer the green one and this one is uh, fully vegan and it's fair trade I normally actually use a different one with the other one that I normally use you really have to add all these um, spices and with this one you don't really need to but I really like the fresh flavor of these spices so I don't oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to start. Jesus Christ. I can't do two things at the same time. Jax, I know.
this is it. Uh, this is the first time I use this green curry paste. It's definitely not my favorite because I taste in between every time and uh, the other ones are I think heavier from flavor so I'll show you guys which one I use normally and the other one I also added quite some things uh, here it said that wasn't necessary because it's all within it but I guess that's why it's kind of I don't know not as strong tasting as I like it but um, yeah we're gonna eat right now I think I let it like just simmer for 30 minutes. I also, by the way, that I didn't show you guys, I did add a little chili pepper because I found the flavor not to be, it was just not spicy enough. It, did, it wasn't flavorful enough. So I add, a, I think like half of the chili pepper, of course, depending on how big it is, but this was like this small piece. So let's see what the maestro thinks of it. Let me taste. Okay guys, so this was it for today's video. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. I want to say one more thing about that Thai curry paste. It was really terrible. <laughs> like honestly, I always use a different brand. I had this in the house because of somebody had a nut allergy. So I made sure that this one was also not processed in the same facility as nuts, but I would not recommend taking that one. Please go with an actual Thai brand. Um, I think I always use from the brand White Elephant or something, but this one was not good. Uh, other than that, if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever. If there's anything that you rather see less of, like the cooking or whatever, let me know because I'm making this for you guys. So I would like to know what you like and what you don't like. Uh, any questions as well, leave them below and I will see you the next time.